Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Today I want to talk about the property group index expression. Now before I get into this, I just want to say I'm sorry I haven't put out a video in the last few weeks. I've been super, super busy. So in the last few weeks I have moved into a new office. I have pretty much started a new business. I've redone my entire Cinema Spice web page. Um, it's looking really good. Some awesome stuff here. And I'm also developing some new plugins for After Effects. So a lot of stuff going on. And I wish I could tell you more about the plugins, but I'm not quite ready to uh, announce what they are yet. But know this, they are going to be cool. But because I have some new products coming out, I also have a whole bunch of old presets that I've been developing in the past that I haven't released yet that I'm going to do now um, over the next few weeks. And these are going to be name your own price or free or whatever you want to pay. And the first one is called Wave Toy, and I'm going to get to that in a second. Um, and it has to do with what I want to talk about, the property group index. So I've talked about just the property index before, and what that is is that it's an expression to be able to pull out the number, the layer number. So for instance, this top layer, it's number one, number two, number three, and so forth. Um, and you can use that, see right here, this number, that's the index. And you can use that in expressions to be able to drive different things and things like that. And I use it all the time in some expressions and presets that I make. Now, what the property group is, is if you want to find the index of a group inside of a layer. For instance, in a shape layer, there are lots of groups and folders inside. And if you want to be able to do that, then you need to use this property group. So you can see down here, there's a whole expression here. We don't have to pay attention to the whole thing. I just want to show you how this works. So this property dot property group parentheses one. What that is saying is this property is this one right here, position. The property group one is this one right here, transform uh, duplicate me. And then it says dot property group one again, and that's going back one more to this one right here, which is just the duplicate me folder. So that's how you ab are able to find the index inside of a shape layer. So let's look at that again. So this property position dot property group one right here dot property group one right there. So it's finding the index of this. And right now there's only one of those. So its index is one. And so why I needed this is because I want to create a preset that uses this number. And let me show you what it does. So this is the wave toy preset, this one right here. And see that wave? That's the kind of stuff you can make with this. So by default, this is what it looks like. And it's a shape layer preset. And so all you have to do is just double click in the animation presets where it says wave toy. Make sure nothing is selected. Otherwise, it'll try to apply all this stuff to whatever layer. But since it's a shape layer, just make sure nothing is collect selected. Double click. It'll create the layer, create everything for you. It's super simple. So if by default, I'm going to hit play. And this is what it's doing, right? It's a sine wave up and down. Pretty cool, um, but not that exciting. Now, if, let me go down in here and duplicate this layer that says duplicate me, and you can see what's going on. It's starting to create a wave. And I can come in here, and there's all these controls. So the controls are spread, frequency, speed, amplitude. I should maybe switch those around. Um, offset, wave, offset, position, line thickness, this mix solid versus multi, and then the solid color. So the spread will distribute all of the shapes along the path, this wave path. Then there's the frequency, how frequent the waves are. The speed, so we bring that down to like the speed of two, and it's going to be really slow. Amplitude, that's how high it goes. Um, then with this offset wave, what it's going to do is I can offset where in the wave pattern it is. So, so like that. Then the offset position will offset the position of the shapes along the wave pattern. Line thickness, 
And then the solid color, we can come in here and change that to whatever. And then this mix solid multi, um, there's one thing I didn't show you is if I turn this down to zero, you can see they're all multicolored, right? And so even the more I duplicate, it'll just pick random colors. And then I can mix in this solid color on top of it if I wanted to mix the colors together. So that is the Wave Toy. I think there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this, and these are all keyframable, so you can keyframe the spread, the frequency, all these different things, and make some really cool things. And again, because it's all in a single shape layer, I can duplicate that shape layer, and now I've got two. So I hope you have fun with the Wave Toy preset. It's a name your own price. Again, it's available over at cinemaspice.net. There's a link in the description, and there's also an annotation that will take you right to this. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments below, and uh, I can get to them. So thank you, and we'll see you next time.